Hey, this is Letta and we're gonna do a work day. I, this is the first time I've kind of been really seriously up here in like maybe a week or two. I have been working for a guild. <laughs> and uh, so now I'm trying to rush and get my own work done because the guild is sucking my life away. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. We had a, a sewing event to make a quilt together for a donation for part of our community, the Grange. And I had to set up like the sewing event. We ended up having six sewing machines, four ironing stations and four cutting stations. Oh my God, it was so delicious having everybody working. And the struggle was the block that was gonna be used for making this quilt had a lot of bias. And when I did it, I ended up with four different sizes. So I had to make sure I could figure out how to get six people to sew the same size and we did it We have 31 blocks that are all 11 by 11. Can you believe it? I don't know. It was a miracle. I'm so excited And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start working But I wanted to share with why I have been gone I have all these sewing machines because I used to teach at the elderly community and I have all these sewing machines. I have like 10 that I do to teach students how to sew, but uh, I use them here at this event and it was just neat. You know, some grumpy old ladies who want to tell me what I should do, but don't want to do nothing. But uh, that's, that's a guild for you. <laughs> but anyway, we had fun. All right, so right now I'm waiting for a client to let me know what she wants uh, on her quilt. <laughs> and um, so I'm on hold. While I'm on hold, I'm gonna put leaders on these beautiful little baby quilts. And I already kind of know what pattern I'm gonna use. So as I'm waiting for my client, if she takes too long, I may turn around and take the quilt off and put this on, cause I know I can quilt these and get them done quickly. And while she's still trying to decide what will work good for the quilt that she wants, I could be continually working, so I'm not uh, being held back. We kind of picked a design and then we couldn't purchase the design that we wanted, so we're in the picking design process again. It just happens sometimes, which is okay, but what I'm gonna do is get these ready so I could get these quilts quilted. And if I need to, if she needs a little bit more time, I can take the quilt off and by the time I probably finish with this one, we will already have a design picked out and sometimes work days are weird. I had a client come and drop off two quilts already. So of course I couldn't contact the client for this quilt because I had to uh, do a take in quilt and I got two custom quilts in. Now I know I'm not saying I'm going to do custom quilts. I only do custom quilts for my favorite clients and uh, because I know they're okay with paying me what I would like to get paid for. And this is a custom, semi-custom kind of quilt. <laughs> I look bad. This is what a long day work day looks <laughs> like. I'm just tired. Let me share with you what I finished. I had to wait a little bit for a client to decide on a design. Um, we were on the phone for a while. What happened is um, she didn't, wasn't able to come so excuse the way I look, it's hot in Texas. This is the quilt. Isn't she beautiful? She's pretty. I'm working on her second quilt. And I was when I was working on her second quilt, I was also getting um, a couple other quilts ready. So this is a quilt that I'm also working on. I'm gonna put her back together. She had quite a bit of fabric. What I try to do for my client is, this is kind of tight. Usually I give myself a little bit more room, but as the quilt has rolled, it kind of has angled itself this way. But I try to get it kind of decently close, maybe like two inches from this edge. And then she has all this other fabric 
What I'm gonna do is I think she's gonna use this fabric for another quilt, with that fabric. So I'm gonna trim it down for her in this way so that she could still add this if she wants to, if it's a bigger quilt. This is her batting. What I did is I had two bundles of this. One was white batting right there. And on this little quilt, she calls it a God quilt, meaning a quilt that God puts in her heart to give away. And so I went ahead and I scrapped the batting together. It's good batting. It's just um, it's kind of leftover batting, but you're gonna donate it to a stranger who would probably love it and won't even know the difference. And this is not, this is a quilt to be used, not to be like put away. So we're getting to the finish line. Let me show you the pattern. This is what the pattern looks like. It's beautiful flowers and filigree. And then I chopped this out because the design didn't go all the way down. This was too big compared to the quilt. Do I look better? <laughs> Let me put some lipstick. So while I'm sitting here and that quilt is going, I'm gonna go ahead and start checking, measuring this quilt. And also I have some clients that they think they have enough back fabric and they don't. And so on this client, I have to make sure that I have enough back fabric. So I'll be doing that. So I'm gonna measure, I have a little, let me show you my little flyer. I make these little paper thingamajigs and I use it on a uh, landscape and I do two sets and I print one side and I print the back side. This is where I put my client's information, um, how much I charge her, how much I charge her for batting, and I kind of like fill this out for my client. And then I put this on a receipt book for my client. Now, I could use a computer to do my accounting. I don't, I do like old time school, because, you know, computers and all. But, I am computer savvy. I just found that sometimes when I would do my accounting on a computer, the computer would crash. And you know, so I know now there's QuickBooks and all that stuff and it's online somehow, but I just kind of want it simple. So I'm gonna measure her quilt and then price her out. Then I'm also gonna measure the back to make sure that I have enough back fabric for this quilt. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I just measure it. These are the best measuring tapes ever. But then I'm gonna measure the back fabric. Now that I have the top measurements, I have an idea of what. <laughs> and then while I look at the back, I also determine how I'm gonna put it on the leader to check to see how they did the back, like that kind of stuff. 80. All right, 80. So that would be with my 79. 80 by 107. 80 78. Okay. Um, I had a client who brought me a qu custom quilt today. <laughs> it's a beautiful star. I've never done a custom quilt on a star. So that's gonna be a neat experience. So this is good. While I'm doing this, I should do this one and measure. I found with certain clients, uh, well, you sh I should do it with all of them. But um, with certain clients, I like measuring both because, um, for example, this client just drops off her quilts to me, so there's not that intake. She lets me pick the design. She lets me do whatever I want. Um, also, any decision that I need to make, she's like, just handle it. <laughs> she's that kind of client. And then I also have like clients that they wanna be part of all of it, kind of. They want to, if there's a, a tear, 
they want to be known if I have to do a pleat. Uh, the client wants to know if what's going on. I tend to try to bother the client less, the least as possible in handle situations because um, clients, when they find out something wrong, start panicking about a situation. And so sometimes I like telling the client that I handled it and that I fixed whatever was going on. As long as it didn't change the integrity of her piece. Um, but it could be a thing. Let me measure this real quick. No, she's not. She's okay. She's okay. She's a little tight, but it's okay. I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll make it work. Yeah, I'll make it work. I will make it work. Okay. So... This is good, so I know now that if I put the leaders on this, this is ready to go, but it's neat because she just used like a bed sheet that cost $10, king size bed sheet, instead of spending $36 on fabric. Bed sheets quilt just as lovely too, by the way. Just saying. It's beautiful, and I love that. So I have it on. Is it directional? Yes, it is. Be mindful that some back fabric is directional and some top fabric is directional. You can literally and then if you put a pattern that's directional, let me move you. And then if you put a pattern that's directional and you're not paying attention if the back fabric or the thing is, <laughs> you can have problems. Then I'm gonna trim off. Let's bring you in here. Trim off this extra batting. It's like 